Hi, my name is Frank, and I'm an orgo tutor here at Boston University's ERC. And this video is on RNS and what to do with the different situations you can get. So this is um, yeah. RNS with uh, freeze and swivel and violence. Curious about what that means? I'll show you later. Okay, so on the board I have the four different situations that you can possibly have. You can have your lowest um, lowest priority group in the back. That's usually our most favorite. That's what you guys all know how to do. Your lowest priority group in the front. This one's a little bit harder, but I'm pretty sure you guys already know how to do that. And then lowest priority group on the side or on top. This one you guys might have a little trouble doing. And then, um, okay, so let's look at this one. First of all, I hope you guys already know this, but R just means that the, the priority groups go clockwise. And then S just means that the priority of the groups from lowest to highest go counterclockwise. Okay. So rule number one, first thing you do is you got to rank your, your um, groups. So I'm just going to rank this. Bromine is the highest. And then comes alcohol. Bromine's highest also because it's just the biggest atom here. Then comes the oxygen. Then it's the C carbon here and the CH3. And last is the hydrogen here. So um, yeah, so bromine's actually the highest even though it's one. Don't get, don't get confused with that. I don't know how you guys like to rank it. But uh, highest, second highest, third highest, lowest. So you go, this is one, two, three, four. That is counterclockwise. So it is S. Nice and easy. Next one. Um, your lowest priority group, uh, let's just carry over the, the uh, ratings. So one, two, three, four. Now our lowest priority group is in the front, so we have a little problem now. You can't just do your normal R and S thing. So what I, what I like to do for myself is just do the R and S first. So one, skip that, two, three, R. So that's clockwise. And there it is. I don't need that. So that's R. But because your lowest priority group is in the front, it's not R. It's the opposite, S. Okay? I know you guys might be a little confused by that. Uh, if you're not, just skip ahead a couple of minutes when I explain these two, the more confusing ones. But um, let me just show you this one. So in this one, your wedge means it's coming out at you. So the hydrogen is this one. Bro means to, in the back, sort of. CH3 is on top. OH is on the left, right? So let's see. Let's turn it so that the lowest group's in the back. So now you have hydrogen in the back, nice and easy. Now your bromine's here, so one, two, three. So this is S. So, see? It works. But you just skip the step of where you gotta do the flip flip thing and you just kinda write down what you think it is. If it's not, it's the opposite. Okay? Hope that helps. Next one here. This one gets a little more confusing, and this is actually my favorite part. Um, in this tetrahedral here, right, the lowest functional group, let me make it again. One, two, three, four. Lowest function group is on the side. A lot of times people have this misconception that if it's on the side, you do the same thing. You just cross out what you think it is and flip it. But no, that's not how you do it. Uh, I use a little trick called freeze and swivel. Um, I don't know if you guys know the song, Teach Me How to Dougie. Just think of the beat. Well, I'm going to teach you how to freeze and swivel, freeze and swivel. So what you do is you actually freeze this top group here, because that guy doesn't need to move at all. Your goal is to move this hydrogen in the back. So you freeze and swivel it, freeze and swivel it, and... Let me show you. So when you freeze and swivel it, right? Um, I'm just gonna use a black marker, but never mind. CH3 stays up there because it's frozen. And then when you freeze and swivel it, OH will be in front. And then bromine will be on the side. And then your last group, I'll use black marker, H. Okay, let me show you it. So it was like this before, right? CH3 on top, alcohol, the purple group in the back, bromine in the front coming at you, H on the side. This guy doesn't need to move at all because our goal is to get this guy in the back. So you freeze and swivel it. When you freeze and swivel it, now bromine's here, uh, alcohol's in the front coming at you, and then hydrogen's in the back. Now you can do your normal RNS thing now. So let's see. 
uh, when, after you manipulate it, always bring down your priority priority ranking. So one, two, three, four. So one, two, three. That's going counterclockwise. So that's S. And that's our answer. Okay. And the next one. <laughs> This one you solve with violence. So you can take out all your rage that you have on hydrogen and and because uh, our goal right now is to get it in the back. So you literally just punch the hydrogen in the face. And then when you punch Professional hydrogen puncher here. If you see hydrogen on top, punch it in the face. Hmm, our nose. And then when you punch the hydrogen in the face, he's gonna fall to the back. And let me show you guys that. So let's see, CH3, OH, BR is kind of in the back, right? So then you punch the hydrogen in the face, then whatever was in the front just came to the top, whatever was in the back is now in the front. Let me show you that again. So you punch it in the face, so then hydrogen falls back, whatever was in the front came up, whatever was in the back came to the front. So now, or you can also think of it as freezing swiveling it, but you're freezing a CH3. But, let's see, so hydrogen is now in the back. And then, the means in the front, because whatever is in the back came to the front. And, OH is now on top. And then, let's see here, CH3 is still here, chilling, watching all the action. Okay, so, Let's carry over our rankings. Uh, one, two, three, four. Lowest group is in the back, so we're good. We can do our stuff. One, two, three. That's counterclockwise. Counterclockwise is S. S. There you go. That's your answer. All right, if you want to see more complicated examples where you don't have hydrogen always as, as lowest group, watch my next video, OK? OK. So um, this one here. This is a more complicated one because I threw in some functional groups. Let's see if you can get this. So pause your video, uh, rank, rank the uh, what you call it, rank the, the different constituents from one to four. One being the highest, four being the lowest, and we'll go on from there. Okay. All right. So I don't know if you did it right or not, but the lowest, well, the highest one is bromine. This is the biggest atom. Then it's fluorine. Then it's the. Um, by the way. If you don't know this functional group, watch my functional group video. <laughs> this is uh, aldehyde. This is going to be the fourth one. Yeah, this is a ketone, by the way. This is not covered in my video. I should have covered it. Aldehyde. So, um, okay, okay, so the reason why bromine is first is because when you rank them, you go atom to atom. So the first atom here is actually a carbon, right here, right? First atom here is also a carbon. So they can't be the one or two. Bromine is the biggest atom here, so that's number one. Then it's fluorine, because fluorine is above it on the periodic table. And, and as you go up, you get smaller. As you go to the right, you get smaller as well. But anyway, don't worry about that. So one and two. Now you have to rank these two, right? They both are attached to this carbonyl thing. Carbonyl is just a carbon with a double bond to an oxygen, right? But so the trick is what you do is you, you look at what they're bonded to. So this is a carbon that's bonded to and oxygen, and because it has a double bond, we, we, it's bonded to what we call a phantom oxygen here. I'm just going to put a little star here to the note phantom. And then last thing it's bonded to is a carbon. Okay, and this carbon here is bonded to a oxygen, a phantom carbon because it's a double bond. I mean, a phantom oxygen because it's a double bond, and then an H. So let's see. Who wins? The one with the carbon will win then. So that's why it's three, that's why it's four. Okay? Alright, so we have our one, two, three, four. The lowest priority group is. Uh, you might want to pause your video now and try and uh, get your RNS on your own, but 